M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just still looking at the uh, Yesu FT5 and FT3. So I'm just sort of looking for obvious differences again. So here's a couple of pictures that you can see. Now, the obvious thing is the slightly different styling. You have an extra LED on, on here. At the top, you have two on the FT5, only one that changes color on the FT3. The buttons are pretty much the same place, but yeah, the styling is different and they've added these orange type buttons, which is, you know, I think it is quite cool. The antenna where it connects, there's a little tab here <coughs> that, um, you know, sticks up. That's not on the, this one. The GPS logo is different. Look, it's flat on the FT5 and the knob styling, very similar. The front buttons, same amount of buttons, but different uh, selection so you've got back disc band X GM AB and VM on the FT3 and on the FT5 F menu AB band I even read that one but I'm guessing that's X VM there are some little red bits here which we can't see and back so the size wise they're virtually the same size I've looked at the the numbers and it looks nearly the same um, so you know off the bat They've added the word mic here at the bottom. And now the big thing is they're saying is that this is one of the key things is that the FT5 has a one watt output speaker and the audio has been tuned, yeah? So they are making a big thing of the fact that the audio will be better. As we know, we've all complained about the audio on the FT3 and um, it's a shame that they, they're not gonna fix that. They're gonna bring out a new model which I think is is not the correct thing to do. But anyway, um, so if we look at some of the specifications here, just reading down here. Now to me, well, th there's one thing they've, they have got. They've got this um, sort of quick release bracket. Now I'll look at, we're on Martin Lynch's stuff here. And if you look at down at the accessories, where is it? I've got to find it now. There's a SHB26 quick release holster and it's black and 1895 some people are including this when you eventually buy it and is it available in the shops at the moment no i can't see it anywhere anywhere in the world so when you go start to look at the specifications of this of this radio and martin lynch taking deposits um it looks to me the same now even the v plus v u plus u v plus u now what they've done cleverly in the FT5 is they say, oh, I've got to find it now, C4FM, C4FM, standby. Now, I can't see that straight away because there's so much writing here. Um, here it is here, C4FM digital, C4FM, C4FM, and they put in the word standby. And that to me is because it won't actually receive both at the same time. If one is received, it'll put the other one on standby, which is basically what the FT3D does, and so does the ft 300 so yeah the ip apparently the ip sort of waterproofing is is be, is slightly better on the new model and they've got this uh, touch and go operation so frequency as bars on graph well that's just the cam feature by simply touching the display bar the user can instantly recall that frequency touch and go well that they did that the ft3d does that the band st scope looks the same if you ask me I've looked through the different frequencies that are sort of shown here al along the bottom. They all look the same to me. You know, the power rating of the radio looks the same. Now, here's the dimensions. 244 by 394 by 134. Well, that's 244, 394 by 128. So there's a slightly, let's get it right, deeper radio, is it? So you work it out anyway. Um... But virtually no difference. The weight, am I getting that here? The weight is the same. <clears throat> the antenna is the same. So, yeah, I'm looking at all that. It's got the usual wires, X, Bluetooth, GPS, APRS. They've all got that. I mean, it's, it's not that it's a bad radio. It's a good radio. The thing where I think Yesu have been naughty, um, if you ask me, is... Um, I'll get the pictures back up. Let's see if we can get a picture back up. Go plus. Is that they haven't given us... So here's the, the new one. 
they haven't given us the fix for the speaker on the FT3D and I think that's wrong. They should have at least put in a graphic equalizer or something so we could get the bass up on it. It's not that it's not loud, I know it's that we can't control the bass so some stations are too trebly. Um, we have to uh, take off the grommet on the right hand side to, to get a decent audio and that's naughty because we've uh, not a lot of us haven't long had the FT3D which I think is a fantastic radio and I'm glad that they've seem to have priced this sensibly it's around 400 pound the time you get it delivered and thanks to martin lynch for for being really first off the mark on this so there's the f i still think the ft3d is an excellent radio it's a keeper i will get the ft5 so i can do videos uh, and do comparisons side by side programming comparisons because they have programmed this one slightly different uh so thanks for watching and uh, yeah I'll uh, as soon as I get it home I'll do lots of videos on how to add your hotspot your repeater how to use APRS GPS Bluetooth uh, it'd be interesting to see if the Bluetooth probably is exactly the same if you look at the specifications if they talk about Bluetooth and the type of Bluetooth no I can't really see that there and um, let's have a look quickly here and then we'll end the video Da, 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 touch and go la 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 bluetooth channel change da, da, da. it's going to be here somewhere but i'm guessing they're all they're going to use the same system everyone uses it's not great is it the bluetooth i'm looking here bluetooth but i will say that there's also talk of an ft6000 now to me that is going to be like the FT3000 but tweaked I don't know it but I've, my sources tell me so it's look out for the FT3 sorry 6000 and 6000S 73 all the best